I was talking to somebody today and mentioned I was interviewing you and they said, oh, it's so good looking, especially in red, <laughs> which I thought was quite a good compliment. Yeah, quite a good one. Maybe you can tell me afterwards who was <laughs> no, I can't. I can't reveal that. And, and now that you've spent some time at Marinello driving the red car, what does it mean to be a part of Ferrari? One of the most special feelings a racing driver can have to be part of this incredible family, uh, to be part of the of of the history of, of the most successful team in Formula One history, and uh, and to be part of a culture, not only the, the Ferrari culture, but also the, the Italian culture that follows Ferrari everywhere, you know, and you're representing a huge brand, a huge uh, iconic brand like Ferrari, and, and it's once you, you are there once, you, you, you love it, you, you get used to it, and, and, and you understand how, why so many people spoke to you so, so, so well about it. Oh, Joe Leclerc, the man on pole, has gone into the barriers. The red flag has come out with only 18 seconds remaining. That is it. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I hope it's okay at least. Yeah. Ah. That podium at Monaco, it must have felt special. It was super special. The, the problem of that day is that I didn't quite manage to enjoy it as much as I should have. I was still quite angry about Saturday, the way Saturday had planned out and, and the fact that I had potentially missed out on a, on a win rather than actually realizing that I had scored my first podium in Monaco for Ferrari. Uh, so I actually got to enjoy it a bit more later once the, the disappointment of Saturday was definitely gone. Just Carlos Sainz, second place for Ferrari. They didn't get the victory they thought was possible starting from pole, but second will do nicely. I was cautious going into this challenge because you never know how long it's going to take to to adapt to the car. You don't know how quick Charles is. You don't know how uh, how difficult it's going to be the challenge. Uh, but uh, I must say that as soon as I jumped in the car and I started working with the team, I had a good feeling about it. I felt like we were progressing really quickly and I felt like the feeling in the car was immediately decent. Um, this brought up my confidence and when you have a driver that is comfortable in the team and the confidence is high, then normally it translates into decent speed. Changing teams is, I think up until this year it was underrated how difficult it is. Remember when I was in 2018, changed to Renault, then changed to McLaren. No one was talking about how challenging it was for me to change teams because maybe only one driver was changing. But this year that finally five other drivers have changed teams and have talked about it, maybe has made people appreciate it more. That is actually quite a big challenge. Let's take a look at how well Carlos Sainz has done so far. He placed fifth on Sunday at the Austrian Grand Prix. Three top five finishes this season, including a second place showing at the Monaco Grand Prix. And he is currently seventh with 60 points in the 2021 driver standings.